Hello, I'm Chris Williams and welcome to my video blog for Tuesday the 11th of April 2010. If you're a regular, I've been away for the last week or so, but if you're a new viewer then you'll join me at a very good time to become a subscriber to my YouTube videos, because here in the United Kingdom in the last two hours we have seen the resignation of Gordon Brown, the lead of the defeated Labour Party from this year's general election that was held a couple of days ago and we have seen David Cameron, the leader of the Conservative Party, visit Buckingham Palace and be appointed as the new Prime Minister, the 12th uh, Prime Minister of the reign in the reign of uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Now, uh, uh, history in the making, but apparently uh, the Conservative Party is to form a coalition with the Liberal Democrat Party, led by Nick Clegg. And uh, as I speak to, the uh, details have yet to be ironed out. Uh, we don't know, is it, who will be in the cabinet? But uh, rumours are that the Conservative Party, being traditionally right-wing, and the Liberal Democrats, being a centrist party, will apparently be made up of uh, the most right-wing experienced politicians and the most prolific centrist politicians so therefore such a conservative liberal coalition will be in the middle of centrist and right wing and the pundits say that this will be reminiscent of Thatcherism which was present controversially here in Britain in the 80s when many people lost their houses uh, due to the recession uh, that was uh, happening at a particular time. Of course, we're in, uh, well, some say we're out of a recession now, but uh, most people say it's a double dip recession, so it's very likely that there will be another recession during this uh, new administration. Uh, uh, Mirren King, the head of the Bank of England, said that whoever uh, is the government after the recent election would be a very pop um, popular government and will be out of power for a generation. Uh, well, um, uh, People dislike the Conservatives because of what happened in the 80s and it is likely that due to the economic conditions there will be a lot of there will be a lot more pain for members of the public here in Britain under this new Conservative government but not because of the Conservatives being vindictive or anything but because it is necessary for them to perform surgery on the economy to help us overcome the economic problems. It's ironic that yesterday I finished reading a book about the economics of Gordon Brown. And funny, as soon as I finished reading the book, he now finishes as Prime Minister. Um, the book that I was reading starts off by saying that uh, he he was good intentioned uh, with his policies when he was Chancellor, but it all came undone when he became Prime Minister. And apparently his uh, final legacy will be that uh, it is largely his fault that we are in the economic crisis that we are in. He tried to engage the globalisation of the economy. Uh, he tried to set up uh, a global uh, economy and he tried to sell that idea to Europe. But as you now know, that has now gone wrong in countries like Greece, Spain, Portugal, Italy and Ireland. So uh, I feel that's probably the reason why he's quitting politics altogether because he knows it's going to be very difficult for him to get an economics-based job in uh, the World Bank or the International Monetary Fund or in the European Central Bank. His uh, economic policies have been somewhat discredited because of circumstances. And although the Conservatives uh, failed to win a majority in the election, uh, it was sufficient uh, for people to decide that they went to go back to uh, the policies that caused pain for people in the 80s rather than uh, continue with a government which seeks to uh, spend its way out of a black hole. In my opinion, if you sp no, how can you spend your way out of a black hole? If there's no money there to begin with, you're just going to run up a much bigger debt. So, uh, um, but all in this together, as David Cameron said uh, during his speech uh, outside 
the uh, door of number 10 down the street here in the United Kingdom uh, but uh, the situation is currently developing as I speak uh, we await further information on uh, the definitive policies that the new administration will be putting forward I find the controversial 10 pence uh, tax uh, abolition oh no, I'm getting a bit confused here no, no. The, the, the inheritance tax policy that was controversial that's apparently is to fall by the wayside to satisfy the Liberal Democrats in the in this coalition apparently. So uh, uh, it's not going to be the Conservative Party as it was prevent presented in its election manifesto, but rather a car crash between the generous Liberal policies, which I think you might s that the government might struggle to pay for, and it's also going to be a combination of the uh, strict uh, budget cutting policies that did feature in the considered manifesto but probably not as strict as what they could have been if the considered were given in on their own. And as for Labour, well uh, Harriet Harman, the deputy leader, is now acting leader with Gordon Brown quitting immediately as leader. But it's likely that David Miliband, a Blairite, uh, will assume the leadership. Uh, he'll be elected to it obviously and uh, that will resurrect the Labour Party. They're not too far away from the Conservatives in in terms of the number of seats, so don't be surprised if, if the coalition falls apart, then the uh, Labour may be back sooner rather than later. They're not likely to be out of power for 18 years uh, like they were uh, when the Conservatives were at the height of their popularity in the 80s. Okay, thanks for joining me for this video blog, do check out my written blog musingsofchriswilliams.blogspot.com and join me for more videos uh, over the next few days, weeks and months syndicated uh, through Twitter, my written blog which I just mentioned, uh, also available on Facebook and also here on YouTube. Okay, until next time, it's bye for now.